Mo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, the other day, my lovely wife came up to me and presented me with this hummingbird feeder. And she suggested that she thought it would be a great idea if we could hang this someplace in the backyard. And I said, that sounds great to me, but we have no place to hang it or nothing to hang it from. I said, but let me go out to my shop and see if I can find something out there that I can build and we can get this thing hung. So, I came out here to the shop and this is what I've found. I've got uh, a couple pieces of three quarter inch black pipe, uh, some half inch tubing. I have an old eye bolt here that I had in my drawer and I've got a three quarter inch uh, threaded pipe cap. And I think with this material right here, we can create something that'll be just fine for hanging the hummingbird feeder. So let's get started. So I got started by uh, cutting everything that we needed to length right here. Uh, you know, this this thing, I, I figured it needed to be about eight feet tall. It's going to work out really good. And the two three quarter inch pieces of pipe I had here were two six footers. So I had to uh, cut a couple feet off of one side. And uh, once I got all the pieces cut, the half inch tubing and the three quarter inch tubing, I took it over to the... Uh, to the grinder or the belt sander I should say and just started to burn everything and now the two pieces of three quarter inch pipe you can see I'm cutting these things on a 45 degree angle this is what I'm going to use to join them together and I've got a little sleeve that's going to go in there as well it's going to help uh, for added strength so once we've got everything done right there uh, with all the pieces and got them deburred I took the uh, half inch piece over to uh, the uh, notch master from JD squared now I got this for a project a while back and I know this is just a little tiny notch for a small project, but you can see how awesome these things work. This thing worked out perfectly for me for the project I did, and it worked out perfect for this as well. Even though I know it's just a little half-inch uh, tubing right here, but you can see how how uh, just a simple notch it put uh, makes a good fit up for a good weld. Once I got that done, look at the Yoast 750DI. This is the most awesome device I ever had. It's got so many different uh, adjustments and and angles that you can turn the thing to and it works really good for holding a uh, pipe like this as well you can see it just i just got the perfect angle on it so i can cut this piece off this is the way we're going to drive this into the ground it's going to act like a little uh, stake if you will and here you can see i'm joining the two pieces of three-quarter pipe together and i couldn't get everything perfectly straight got a piece of angle iron laid it in there and everything is nice and straight got a couple tacks on it right here you know once i got everything all tacked up nice and straight uh, then i was able to go ahead and and finish the weld out here and of course once we got everything uh, welded out I just took a flap disc I wanted to grind the uh, the weld smooth so when it's painted uh, you're not going to really notice uh, where it's put together this is the three-quarter cap I'm screwing on in the end this will be up for the top uh, this is what I'm going to use to take my uh, my mallet or a three-pound sledgehammer and drive it into the ground and uh, it's going to work pretty good and there's the eye bolt fits perfectly inside the tubing and just going to weld that up and into position right there. And, you know, once you get everything all welded out again, uh, the thing to do is the thing I wanted to do is just uh, take it over to the, the grinder, use a flap disc again, and smooth out any, any weld marks that we had on there so to make it nice and smooth. And then my cutoff wheel right here, uh, taking that eye bolt and just cutting a notch in the top right here, and that's going to create the hook that uh, we're going to be able to hang it from. And just smoothed everything off so there's no sharp edges. And, uh, you know, that part of it's all done. Okay, so the very last part of this build is uh, just going ahead and finishing welding on the arm, if you will, that's going to actually be hanging the hummingbird feeder itself. And, and once I selected the desired location, I just tacked it into place, got everything nice and squared up, and went ahead and, and finished welding it out all the way around. Once we did that, um, that was it. Project is complete. Very simple project. Got a coat of paint on it, and there it is. The hummingbird feeder stand is complete. Uh, I've got the camera set far away because I don't know how else to get this whole thing in the picture, but I think you guys get the idea. You saw the build. It's a very simple build, and it's gonna serve its purpose. So, you know, there's all kinds of different ways. Everyone's got their own ideas how things should be built. There's all kinds of different materials that can be used. But this was a spur of the moment thing for me, and I used the materials that I had in my shop, and I think this is gonna work out really good for what we need it for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos.